What's up guys, it is me Anti-Chip, and welcome back to another video. Um, so today, we're gonna be playing, um, this Naruto game. It's called Project Shinobi. Uh, so, currently it is version 0 0.3. Um, here are all the changes. I played the last, uh, you know, version, but not on recording or anything. But, uh, So yeah, uh, I just, I, w I was doing the tutorial, I mean, I already did it before, but it's changed a little bit, uh, so I was doing that, and then I thought, hey, what if I recorded this? This probably won't, like, you know, uh, like, not everybody would probably, like, you know, uh, not everybody likes anime, or anime games, but I just thought this was really cool, uh, cause it's like a, um, 3D Naruto game. Well, I, they've had those before, but it's, like, really good looking. <laughs> okay, but, um, so, uh, I'm gonna hop into the tutorial, and then we'll, uh, check it out. Alright, let's hop into the tutorial. Keybinds change, changes only work in the main menu. Alright. Project Shinobi tutorial. Everything shown is, um, very early on and subject to change. Uh, many enemies do not show, uh, do not move for showcase purposes, sorry. Alright. Uh, press L to open the skill tree. Purchase Sage Sense by clicking the plus icon. Drag the skill onto the ability bar. Uh, so, this is Sage Sense. So, and then, yeah, uh, use Sage Sense to see through walls, so there's two enemies here and there. Boom, reach level two. Also, you can like, you know, wall run, or, uh, you know, wall run, like, ceiling run with your chakra. And yeah, um, so press I to open the inventory. And then it just says go to missions just to, uh, look. It says ignore this one. Uh, ignore the sand shinobi mission. So yeah, and then. Reach level three by walking through. Here. Oh, I'm level five. All right, okay. Um, I changed it so it's uh, not Q any. Or it's not Q. It's uh, it's uh, left click to uh, do a light attack. And then right click to do a uh, heavy attack. To evade. Oops. Oop, I just, sorry, I just turned into a uh, Kurama. Alright, and then, uh, so now it wants us to go in here and uh, purchase the kunai. So, yep. I could sit here and kill all these guys with the kunai, but I'm probably just gonna go through and, and you know, punch them, so, oh well. Boom, okay. Then, uh, once I, okay, uh, purchase Rasengan. I'm doing it all in order, so I'm not gonna buy, uh, any of the other ones yet. Uh, okay, actually. I want it to be on X. Uh, so you go up and then you left click to detonate the Rasengan, and yeah. Also, I'll leave the, um, the Discord that you can join to, uh, get the download link, and I'll leave the, uh, the video in the, uh, like, you know, uh, 
the showcase video that the guy does. So. <laughs> This is as far as I did in the tutorial, so... Alright, jutsu, jutsu testing. Look left to right. We've given you 10 skill po uh, points in total. Unlock skills through the skill tree and test them out here. Okay. So, use Rasengan whilst in the air to activate aerial Rasengan. I... Oh, hold on. I probably have to jump and then use it. Okay, yeah, yeah. Ooh, that just... I just teleported through that wall. Alright then. <laughs> so, massive Rasengan. So, you can uh, go ahead and... Or, I'll buy the, the, the Rasengan. The, the, the massive Rasengan. And then... Boom. That didn't even... Okay, we'll just do this. Actually... I'm gonna do the arrow, uh, the, the, the aerial Rasengan. Oh, well, I'm supposed to uh, do the massive Rasengan in the air. Hello? Oh, I don't have enough chocolate, okay. Boom. And also, like, the, the animation and stuff is really clean. So, alright, Marasa and Shuriken, we'll just go ahead and purchase that. Oops, what'd I do? There we go. Oops, I got rid of the mouse somehow. And, uh, now I can't click out of this. Oh, well, whatever. Okay, we're good. Now, Marasa and Shuriken, just... Oh, I just hit the uh, hit the guy through there. All right, whatever. <laughs> um, well, that's supposed to be massive wrestling. We already saw that. So, tailed beast rush uh, wrestling shuriken test dummy. Uh, we buy that. Put it here. And then T. Boom. All right. And then we just come around this side. And then uh, we finish this off. So, uh, use Rasa Shuriken whilst in the air. I don't have enough Chakara. Alright. Um. Boom. Alright. And then, uh, use Tail Beast Rasa Shuriken while in the air. But yeah, just, you know, this game is very, like, uh, early access kind of it's just like really there um, there's nothing much you really do except you can do the tutorial and then once you actually get in the actual game uh, you have one quest and then once you do that that's pretty much it but there is a full model a full scale model of uh, um, uh, the hidden leaf so all right summoning you two go in here buy it and then oops it's a good thing that didn't hit the guy here I'm actually going to put this down here where the other stuff that isn't uh uh rusting non stuff <laughs> uh, whatever um and then yep just summoning Gamakichi Oh yeah, Kamakichi's in this game. I mean, you can't really get on his back. <laughs> and you could jump on his back. <laughs> okay, well, whatever. Alright. Uh, summoning Jutsu again, to one summon. Alright. Three. And then, yeah, uh, so... Shadow Clone Jutsu. You could buy the Shadow Clones. Oh, is that multi Shadow Clone Jutsu? Alright. 
And then multi shout out code to you too. Shout out clone jutsu! Or Kabuto machine clone jutsu. <laughs> I never I said that really scuffed. And then you just, you know, don't have much chakra, so you gotta build that up. Then you know what? Just hit him with the Russ and Shuriken. Well, hit only one of them, I guess. If you have one. Boom, let's go. Also, for some reason, the Tailed Beast Bomb Russ and Shuriken and the, uh, or the Tailed Beast Russ and Shuriken and the normal Russ and Shuriken, they do the same amount of damage, which I don't really think makes sense, but it's whatever. Um, have we already been through here? Alright. Oh, okay then. <laughs> well, I tell, yeah, okay. Sorry, I wasn't ready for that. Yeah, I don't think it's working. Hold on. There we go. It works. Also doesn't use chakra, apparently. I'm not good at this. Hold on. Uh, okay. Hold on. Whatever, I'm just gonna uh, take this guy out. Alright. When the destructible the destructible <coughs> destructible buildings, so if you just throw a kunai at it, <laughs> it just falls apart. Uh, so if you kind of just go over here with the raw sang round, that didn't do anything. Maybe the raw sang shuriken. Nope, that. That's, where, where'd that even go? <laughs> Oh, I just, I started, wa oh, okay, that was kind of cool, <laughs> like even, oh, okay, it's gone now, even while it was broken, it's still, uh, like you could still wall run on, or, wa wa yeah, okay, <laughs> uh, destructible trees, yeah, boom, so I'm assuming if I, like, walk on this at all, it'll break, right, yep, Okay then. Oh no. Yeah. Uh. I. Pr <laughs> okay, we're good now. We're good. <laughs> yeah, that was a little glitch. Uh, like I said, it's kind of early access. Um. Space bar to double jump. Run towards the wall. To wall run. Went on the wall. You have to aim your camera in the direction uh, you want to go. Do not aim the camera at the wall. Alright. Three to tree jump. Aim your camera slightly at the green icon. Hold on. Okay. Slightly off. The thing is, I, uh, or you know how, like, the, the button to, uh, you know, tree jump is three, and, uh, summoning Gamakichi is three, so. Where, where am I going? <laughs> It's just a room back here. Okay. <laughs> All right. If I hit three, there we go. Now it's working. Then you can come down here. Alright. Caps lock to use fast flight A and D. When in fast flight to use evasive maneuvers. Uh, middle click button to hover. And then U to hover. Uh, oh, U and hover to fly downwards. So. 
Oops, why do I keep it? Yeah, okay. Then you can hover. You to fly downwards, okay. So yeah, you can. Uh, why do I keep? But yeah, so I don't know why I'm stuck to the ground. There we go. So yeah, evasive maneuvers. Also, look at all the arrows. <laughs> all right. Oh, so there's a. Um. Uh, right here it says P to use photo mode. Yeah, there's a photo mode. Uh, you could change the depth of field. Okay, let's uh. Hmm. Yeah. Hold. Okay, there we go. You could change the depth of. Okay. <laughs> um. Let's see. Brightness, filter, there's filters. Or it's oh there you go, yeah. Um desaturated. Ooh, I, that kinda looks cool. Sure. Color balance, yeah. depth of field. Screen effects. Game. Your game will go. That looks cool, okay. Uh, and then we just take picture. Then, P to close, G, and uh, uh, okay, apparently, I, apparently I think you're supposed to like hide the UI first, so. Yep, and then, uh, that's all I did, and then H, then you take the photo with hold on with X. Then the photo is taken, and then you can go back out and then go into the gallery. And then there, the, there's the photo taken without the UI. All right. Oops. Oh, it's his back. It's close. There we go. And then uh, oops, I keep hitting uh, tab instead of. Uh, caps lock. Alright, and then you can transform into Kurama. So, this model looks cool. So, Z, and then you could transform, and then Naruto's right there. Just chilling. So, C to use P to use bomb, and then uh, V to use multi BG bomb, and then X to use aerial BG BG bomb. <laughs> also, do uh, all of them need? Yeah, okay. You need to click to detonate all of them, except that one did detonate. But uh, C, and then you can detonate it. All right, Q three times. One, two. Three. Oh, okay. The third one didn't want to do anything. One, two. Okay. I. Yeah. Apparently, it's only like a two combo. Oh, one, two, three. Okay. Yeah. There we go. There's a three combo. And then R three times. And then E to roar. And then F to bite. Looks more like oh, guys, you know. All right, and then so yeah, there's the the full tutorial, pretty much. And then uh, now, oops. So now you just quit this. Oops. And then you go to play, just new game since continue, doesn't work since, first of all, I haven't actually, you know, started a new game yet, and also, it's not implemented yet. <laughs> Alright, we're in the game. Uh, ooh, that, 
chance a little bit of uh, I, I wonder, can I turn motion blur uh, off? Alright, and then uh, a little bit laggy, it's fine. Alright, you press H to chat with Kakashi. Ah, Naruto, just the guy I need. I sense enemy shinobi nearby. Can you clear them out? Sure. No, I don't feel like it. No problem. Goodbye. Uh, sure. Thanks a lot, Naruto. Stay safe. Will do. Don't worry about me. This will be easy, of course. Will do. Also, this is, uh, like, the little chat thing is new. They didn't have that before, so that's cool. Alright. Where are these enemy shinobi? Yo, it's... Kurama. Okay. We'll just, uh, apparently... Do I hit dab again? Hit dab. <laughs> hit tab. Alright. Also, don't know why these, uh, shinobi are chilling around here. I think they'd be scared because there's a huge nine-tailed fox over there. Alright, hello. I'm not even damaging the guy. Alright, now that I've reached level 2, I have 4 skill points, so... They have no substitution or taijutsu in the school tree yet, but that's fine. Um, here, we'll purchase Rasengan. Hmm. Rasen Shuriken. And massive Rasengan. Oh. They'll probably change how much they cost, but they all cost one currently. Uh, I don't know. I don't actually know if they'll change it, but... Alright, and then... Uh, I only eliminated two. <laughs> that were the, those were the only ones here. Oh, there's more over here. Resting on... Also, if I sound, like, out of it, I'm not, like, uh, nah. <coughs> <coughs> Not feeling too great. I have, like, a cold or something, so, oh well. Let's see. Should be, ooh, is that a Itachi? Uchiha? I don't know what he's doing here, but... <laughs> Ooh, I need to defeat Itachi Uchiha. Alright. Also, I don't know what's up with, uh, this thing on Naruto's back looking really low quality, but it's whatever. Hello. Oh, he just... Ooh, okay. Come at me, Itachi Uchiha. Completely missed him, okay. He can also uh, get me in a Genjutsu, or put me in a Genjutsu, so you gotta watch out. Oop, okay, yep, yep, I'm, I'm getting totally annihilated here. Oops, well, that's the end of Naruto's journey, seems like. I mean, I can still punch. Well, he just caught me in the Genji too now. <laughs> Oops. All right, we'll fly over. Actually, Kurama, you can. take care of him. Yeah, okay. Oops, I completely missed him. Now we use the ultimate. Oh, there we go. Oops. Yeah, I 
like how you, there's like a little thing every time you switch to them, it's like a fade. And that's not going to do anything. Uh, let's see. Let's see if we can see him. Huh. Does he not appear when you're... Oh, maybe, like, the name is too. Can you not hurt him? I mean, I guess not. Oh, well. Also, if you, uh, there is uh, that <laughs> Sasuke Susano over here. I mean, you can't interact with it or anything, but it's here. Alright. Uh, keep hitting uh, tab instead of control. Er, not control. Caps lock. Hey, Tachi Uchi. Ooh, I don't know why that only did 400 damage, just on how much it usually does. Oh. Take that, Itachi. Alright. Now, here, I'll show you guys the Hidden Leaf Village. Because that also looks cool. Because, um, I think the, uh, this, this is also made by a solo developer as well. You'll get up more information on the Discord that I'll link in the description. But, uh, this is, uh, the Leaf Village. Pretty sure they modeled it, um, themselves, so that's cool. Here's all the Hokage. Let's see. Oops, okay. Hm. Ooh, it only goes up to Minato? Or. Yeah, okay. <coughs> oh, and then there's a uh, Konoha testing grounds over here. But yeah, this map is pretty cool. Huh. Used to be- oh, this is water, okay. Very clear water. But, uh... In the earlier, uh, like in the version before this one, uh, Jiraiya was actually in the water here. Ooh, that, that might have just spoiled that, ooh. I mean, I'm not gonna say why. He was just chilling in the water. But yeah, alright, so. So yeah, that was, uh, oops, how do I keep doing that? So that was... Project Shinobi. So yeah, this was made by a solo developer. And it, <laughs> it's a cool game. It, it's really shaping up to be something. <laughs> so yeah. Um, if you want to support the developer, you know, join the Discord and everything. And uh, yeah. So this is, you know, a Naruto game. <laughs> And it's really like the first one I've seen of uh, like a fan-made Naruto game that was like this, you know, like an open-world Naruto game. So yeah, this um, uh, this version came out a couple days ago, so you could play it. Just go to the download link on the Discord. So yeah, um, thank you guys for watching this video. Uh, if you enjoyed, uh, leave a like, make sure to check out the game, and, uh, yeah.
here, hold on, I'm gonna get a thumbnail real quick. I don't remember all these trees being around in the leaf village, but it's whatever. Alright, now photo mode. So his face is being uh, blocked out by that tree. So if I go over here, I mean, oh well, if I do this now, uh, it's probably the best that I'll be able to do. But yeah, so. So, thank you guys for watching this video. If you enjoyed, uh, make sure to smack that like button. And, uh, if you like Naruto, uh, leave a comment saying Naruto is cool. Uh, Alright, uh, uh, see you guys uh, later in the next video. Bye-bye. <laughs>